Hello, hi. This is the second in the series of free videos on how you upgrade a Ucreate Studio controller, or could be a gateway, to Codasys. This video covers how you install the Vidmulig controllers and gateways into the Codasys development software. So the first stage of this is to actually go onto the internet and download the packages that you will need to install into Codasys. So let me show you that now. The packages you need to install into Codasys are on the catalogs website of Weidmuller. So to be honest, the easiest way to find that website is to type in the part number of the controller into Google and follow the search result, which happens to be the second one down in this case, catalog.videmuller. So go to there, you get a photograph of the product, and you get lots of technical information. If you go to the download section and scroll down to software, you want runtime software, codices control SL for Videmuller UOS package. Bit long winded, but basically, to install the hardware into Codasys, the actual file is a package. So if you click on that to download it, and then you will download this file, Codasys Control SL 4.710, which is the very latest as of June 2024. So click into that, and there are the release notes and the actual file which as I said it's actually called a dot package which is recognized by Codasys. So you want to extract those files down onto your PC and then we need to open up Codasys. Well actually we need to open up something called Codasys installer. So if you go to um, the search box at the bottom of your PC and type in Codasys installer and open that up that's what you see so I've actually got let me see here these are the packages that are installed or the add-ons and when you click across to the right when it's highlighted you get a bit of a description so in my case I've already got it installed so let me just show you what it looks like there we are codices control SL for Vidmuller UOS 4.710. Okay, so if you notice here, this is quite important that you do actually have to have admin rights, and I think it's full administrator rights. So if you restart as administrator, then you'll be able to install it. If you don't have administrator rights, you will not be able to install it. So you're probably going to have to talk to your IT department and get them to install it for you. You restart as an administrator and unfortunately I cannot, cannot show you that because it actually switches users on my PC and I can't record it. But I'll go through the steps. So you'd restart as administrator and then in here you'd say install files and you point to that path that we just had downloaded. Well, in my case, I'm going to go to a different path because I've already downloaded it. And you'll see these packages. So I've got an older version. So you want this one. Codis is control SL 4.71 and it's a dot package and open to install. And then you give, give that a few minutes and it should install OK and add it here. Once it's installed here, you should then be able to open up Codasys and see a controller and gateway. Once it's installed, you should be able to open up Codasys 3.5 SP19 or later, and then you should be able to select the Vidmuller hardware, UOS controller or one of the gateways. So once that's done, you can open up Codasys. Let me show you Codasys. It's Codasys open. No projects, just open as it stands. So we'd go File, New Project. I always use a uh, standard project. 
I'm just going to leave it as untitled because it's just a demo. Click OK. And then the first question it asks you is what hardware do you want to use? You should be able to see these six devices, which are what you've just installed via the package method. These are all generic ones that come with Codasys, third party, but that's what you should have installed. That's it for this video. The next video, I'll go into a little bit more detail of how you actually go online to your newly updated UOS controller and download a project. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye for now.